we're going to find the limit as x approaches negative 2 of x cubed plus 8 divided by x plus 2. Certainly, we can't substitute to evaluate this limit because plugging in negative 2 gives us 0 over 0, which is indeterminate. So we're going to have to use factoring to solve this limit. It will be a big help for you in solving limits to have common factorizations memorized. In this case, we need to factor the sum of perfect cubes, x cubed plus 8. When we do that, we get x plus 2 multiplied by x squared minus 2x plus 4. So this is equal to this. Now we see the x plus 2 in the numerator can cancel out with that problematic x plus 2 in the denominator. Here is that factorization written out for your reference. It's worth memorizing. So now we can do the cancellation I described a moment ago, and that's just going to leave x squared minus 2x plus 4. At this point, we can plug in the negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. Negative 2 times negative 2 is plus 4. And then we still have that plus 4 at the end. And so the limit is equal to 12. Once more, all we had to do was factor the numerator, which was a sum of cubes. That gave us this. Numerator and denominator cancel out, and then we're able to plug in negative 2 to find that our limit is 12. I'll leave a link in the description to my calculus exercises playlist. You can check that out if you need more practice. Thanks for watching.